The number of people in Africa dependent on boreholes or tube wells for their drinking water supplies has more than doubled in just 10 years. Aid agencies have invested over $4 billion in boreholes for drinking water over the same period. Governments and citizens are also investing. This investment and growing use of groundwater is likely to continue as we try to make sure that everybody has a safe drinking water supply. Groundwater cannot be found everywhere. This means that there's an element of uncertainty when drilling. Selecting where to locate a borehole is easier in some places than in others. In some locations, very large quantities of groundwater can be withdrawn. In others, only small quantities can be taken out of the ground. The quality and quantity of groundwater can vary within just a few meters. A borehole can provide a good supply of water if it is properly located. If it is not, it will fail and your time and money has been wasted. So who can do good siting and what does it entail? From the start of the project, you need someone who understands how water flows through soil and rocks in the ground. They can dramatically increase your chances of finding water. But be aware that even with skilled advice, you can be unlucky and just get a dry borehole. The expert should have suitable training and experience of siting boreholes and know the best types of survey to carry out. He or she will ideally be a hydrogeologist a geologist, or even a retrained engineer. Knowledge, skills and experience are essential. Not everyone can cite a borehole. There are systematic processes that can help us to understand what is underground and where to drill. A logical approach to well siting involves identification of features on the ground that may be favorable for groundwater occurrence, selection of the most suitable geophysical methods, interpretation of the findings, and consultation with the end users. There is need for the hydrogeologist to review maps of the area, including geological and hydrogeological maps if they exist. Drilling success rates and experiences in the area near your planned borehole are really valuable. So hydrogeologists must make the effort to hunt down that information. Drilling success rates can come from drilling records and drillers who have worked in the area. If success rates are low, then be aware that the cost of drilling a successful hole will be higher. The hydrogeologist will need to widen the search area to find suitable locations. Your hydrogeologist needs to visit every potential borehole site. Sticking a pin into a map while in the office is not good enough. They must talk to the community and understand where users would like the borehole to be. In some places, geophysical surveys are required. The hydrogeologist will point out problems of contamination from latrines, burial sites, or other sources of pollution. They will find out who owns the land and whether it can be accessed by the whole community. Ideally, three suitable locations will be prioritized for drilling. If proper siting procedures are budgeted for and followed, you will increase your chance of drilling a successful borehole, which is suitably located within the community. This really saves money. Proper siting, together with good records of the actual drilling, will raise the overall understanding of groundwater in the country. Don't leave siting to chance. Find out if the boreholes on your projects are being sited professionally. To learn more, download the citing publication from the Rural Water Supply Network's website. Mm -hmm.